So this morning we decided to take a stroll through the botanical gardens over here at the University in Ljubljana, about a 20 or so minute walk out of the old town. Uh, it's completely free to enter, opens at 7.30, stays open till 7 at night. Uh, every single day of the week, it's completely free. I believe there will be a fee to get into the glass house, but we're gonna take a stroll and check her out. So there's some plaques scattered throughout the garden with some information and basically they have a little blurb on Humboldt and he was the man who came up with basically what today is known as our hardiness zones um, in regards to plants growing in certain areas and not in other areas. Didn't refer to it as a hardiness zone but I think that would be the foundation for today's hardiness zones. So they're taking a view here of natural selection or basically survival of the fittest. So I guess whoever gets crowded out, uh, unfortunately will die off, but it is uh, pretty nice. So they took the natural way versus the super, super highly groomed way, which is uh, I think the way things are going in the world generally. But yeah, we'll have a nice spin through. Looks like they got a nice Japanese maple here. What a beautiful tree. One of my favorite trees actually, Japanese maple. So now we've moved into the more groomed section of the garden, not natural selection. These are definitive cut beds, specific plants arranged in specific orders, which is also very nice. Uh, typically when I do a garden, I do it very groomed, edged, stuff like this. I don't typically go for the wild look, but very nice gardens. And uh, I can see the glass house off in the distance. It should be pretty epic when we get in there. Look at this. These are all clematis. I've never seen clematis grown like that. Uh, back in Canada, we would like grow it up a large uh, trellis or up the side of a building. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Look at this display. Not sure on the name, I will have to Google it, but uh, it's just absolutely beautiful. You have the purple mixed in with the yellow. Wonderful. So interesting um, little panel here. So this is um, about bringing Smithsonian Gardens the pollination investigation. So it's sponsored by the US em Embassy in Ljubljana. Interestingly enough, when we were in the Belgrade Gardens, the U.S. Embassy there had sponsored the pollination gardens at the Belgrade Botanical Gardens. So very, very interesting to see the U.S. Embassy spreading um, pollination gardens. That's something I can get on board with, actually. Very cool. So we moved on to the Rock Garden. Very interesting, different species of plants. Apparently there's four different hardiness zones here in Slovenia. So they have a wide range of plants. And actually we were at the Union Brew Tour yesterday and in the Eastern region is where they grow all the hops for the beer and they grow so much hops they export most of it. Some lily of the valley. We used to have tons of this in our yard back in Nova Scotia. We would plant it all under the trees, kind of Sort of like a ground cover, I guess. So kind of about 50 to 100 meters past the botanical garden on the other side of the glass house which you're going to see very shortly there is a bee house and it's uh italy and slovenia joint venture i'm going to bring the camera in close hopefully you can see them uh, yeah thousands of bees obviously all in here i'm not going to go around the glass because that would just be stupid i don't want to be stung but uh fascinating i hope that's showing up on camera really interesting so that's the back of the glass house there. And the bee house is just this tiny little thing and the bees are just on the other side of that glass. So we won't be going over there, but this is it here. They have a little few information panels, but if you want to see the bees coming in and out, if you got some kids with you, yeah, it's kind of worth a walk back actually. All right, so we're up in the glass house, four euros for an adult ticket, which is quite reasonable. It's absolutely beautiful in here. It is super hot and it's uh, only a, probably 
14 degrees outside. It's gotta be about 30 in here with probably 90% humidity. So make sure you have a t-shirt on underneath your sweater. Um, but absolutely beautiful. Two floors, we're on the upper floor now. We'll head down. It's a ton of school classes here doing like planting and learning about plants. It's really actually quite nice to see. And this is the trumpet vine. Never seen one before. Quite beautiful. They have it strung all throughout the place. This is a fishtail palm. And if you look at the gray, that will actually all bloom. They have a little panel here. Um, the droplet kind of vines will turn green and they'll have purple flowers down them. Never seen a palm like that. Very nice. So look at the size of these birds of paradise. Obviously they're done flowering, um, but they would have been massive, super massive. Look at the size of these leaves, Ugh. massive. So we're just finishing up at the gardens here at the University in Ljubljana. I highly recommend it, fantastic. Of course, the grounds are free, the greenhouse, four euros to get in. I uh, highly recommend coming to check it out. Tons of information, beautiful. They kind of have groomed gardens, wild gardens, and of course the greenhouse. They actually have a plant sale, a cafe. There's so much to do here. It's a nice low intensity morning. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.